Hey guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Two Year Eternity episode 11. So, yeah, the uh, as you can see, I cut my hair all the way off. Um, all of it gone. Bye bye. Uh, is it new look I'm going for? Uh, it is like starting to grow back a little bit. I'm still, it's the first time trying it. I'm still like a little on the edge of when I should be trimming it, like how often and stuff like that for the speed that my hair grows. Um, if I was like going out anywhere fancy or with family or or anything like major i probably would have trimmed it again back down but i think for videos it looks fine um and and stuff like that so yeah that's that uh last time on to your eternity fumetsu uh we had a time skip right we had kind of our characters deal with the the monster that attacked, we got a warning from the narrator alien guy, um, we don't have a name for him or even what to call him or anything like that, uh, kind of saying that he needs to leave to become stronger so he can have all these new experiences that's outside of, uh, outside of where he's kind of locked in now, and he said, no, I like it here, and that was that, he, he didn't, like, butt in any more than that, so... Yeah, um, it's it's interesting, and then, like I said, at the end we had a time skip, and I wonder, like, what's gonna happen now? We had uh, Fushi actually get older, which is interesting. Um, <clears throat> I talked a lot in the discussion of last episode about the implications of that and, like, what that means, you know, since he is just, like, an orb, like, how does that age? Can it, like, die of old age? Since he's, like, a mortal, what would happen? Would he just, like, keep getting older and more wrinkly? Or could he revert back to, like, another form if he so chose, you know? I don't know. It's interesting. I'm, I'm curious to learn more. But, uh, real quick, one last thing, and then we're gonna start the episode. Uh, last time I recorded on this new camera for the first time with Fumetsu, and there was an audio sync issue. It should be just about perfect. It might be, like, point two milliseconds off um i i've done like clap tests and i think maybe the the sound comes through like tiny bit like oh it's like almost there so like it's it's pretty much perfect i could probably adjust it a tiny bit more but i think it's fine the way it is i think it's pretty much synced it's it's way better than it was last time it was off quite a bit last time so uh yeah anyways just wanted to confirm that in case you guys like saw it and was looking yourselves and you're like is it is it out of sync yes it definitely was when i did a clap test all right let's get started though shall we Alrighty, we're gonna start here in five four three two one now right into the opening okay is this the first time we've gone right into the opening i don't know um oh my volume is way up uh, so, one other thing that I was going to wait until the opening to mention, but we are here now. Uh, I've been having a problem with the camera. I think it happened in the first episode, and I think I pointed it out, like, in the discussion, because I noticed it, or maybe during the show. I can't remember when I pointed it out. But there's, like, a one-frame screen tearing that keeps happening, and, and it's only, like, one frame. It only happens, like, a couple times throughout a whole video, so, I don't know what it is. It's not going to affect the timer. It's not going to affect anything. All it is is, if you see the hiccup, I'm working on fixing it. It's just, it's a hard thing to test because I have to record like a whole 30 minute video of me sitting here like this in order to test it on my own time. So I'm kind of making changes and then recording a video and, and then recording a reaction. Since it's not a major hiccup, I figure I'll just do it that way. And I've done a few other reactions with changes, and I haven't been able to identify it. Um, this change, I've decided to try making my CPU do the encoding on OBS rather than my graphics card. So I guess we'll see how my CPU holds up. Right now it's at 11%, which is fine. So, But yeah, hopefully we don't get that glitch this time. I really want to fix this problem. Hmm. 16. Nice. Really? Not once. Uh... 
Oh. So that explains that. It's because he hasn't changed forms. His arc enemy. I like how he's just calling him that. The Knockers. Hmm. Interesting. That's cool. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, he's he's going to heal, right? No. Oh. <laughs> I like how she's trying to make him happy on her birthday. Love. Huh. I'd rather not. Yeah, that's... Wow, Fushi gave a good answer. He really probably would appreciate anything. Huh. Good job, Fushi. Oh. That's right, I forgot about that. I didn't realize it was still... <laughs> the head shake. <laughs> Damn, never even seen its face? No, they just have never met. Wow. Don't... <laughs> I, before that, I need to get a boyfriend. <laughs> Uh. Is that why she's trying to make something for Gugu? Huh. Uh. Oh, and huh. nice. Ugh, gross. <laughs> hmm. His brother? Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh, that's not how it works. The guy ass. <laughs> oh, what's with the fisheye lens? Fushi doesn't understand. He's moving a bit fast. They gotta start dating first. It's funny that even after, like, he knew exactly what it was. Mm, the brother. Yeah. He's taller than his brother now, and obviously more jacked. Damn. He knew exactly right away that it was his brother. I guess maybe the pants are the same pants. Oh, Andy heard he lived here. I guess... That's it. Hmm.
Oh shit. Did he ever tell them about him? Oh. I mean, he did. He never sold it. Wow. Jeez. It took him four years to find him. The unhinged genius. God, Fushi looks so much older. It's crazy. But really, it means as soon as he's forced to change forms, I wonder if that means he's going to go back to what he used to be, or can he remember this form at this age and go back to that? It might, that might be possible. Interesting. His brother tried, I mean, I don't know. I still think what he did when he was younger is bad. But if he's trying to make amends for it, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he should. Maybe you should give him a shot, you know, but... Obviously, ultimately, that's Gugu's decision. The ring? Yeah, it's Reen's. Oh, I hope Reen doesn't get mad. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how Reen's going to respond to that. Because that means Gugu gave away her ring. <laughs> Always green. Oh, did she never connect that those two are the same? That Gugu is him, that boy? I didn't even think about that. Okay, yeah, so she made that connection. Interesting. I kind of re didn't realize that she didn't know, but I guess it makes sense because she hasn't seen his face, right? Okay, good. I'm glad she didn't get mad that, that she gave it to him and then he gave it to his brother, you know? Like, you gave away the gift I gave you? How rude. Although she gave it to him to sell anyway, so... Uh, 
Don't force it! No, 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 you're gonna freaking de-glove his finger! Ugh! Ugh! What? <laughs> hey. <laughs> that was when he was drunk, right? <laughs> Come on, Goo Goo. Damn it. I know you're not good at this kind of stuff. That was that was her basically saying that she's okay with you. Great news. What? Anti tree man mask. Yeah. Why, though? How is it anti tree man? Oh, it can make fire without a torch. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Although, if it comes, it's been four years and they're still worried about that. I love it. Um, but on top of that, what if it comes back just fireproof? Because, I mean, it's got to learn from its mistakes, right? Wait, the food shares a spot with the booze? Hmm. Or is it the bigger the device in his stomach like pushes or like pushes on his actual stomach makes it so he can't eat as much? Hmm. I don't know. That's interesting. Maybe talk about that more in the discussion too. How do you read maps? I love to see that Fushi's still learning after all this time, right? <laughs> oh. Basically, like, became a kid to them, you know? Oh. All right. Ooh, the flowers from the ending. Ah, oh, she was picking them back then. Nice. He was even able to tell that even in that dangerous situation he was in. Nice. <clears throat> the floor is so shiny. <laughs> Frickin' Fushi. Oh, all kinds of, uh, they're all talking about him. Hmm. I, I bet none of them are even close to what they are. They're probably, like, family, friends kind of thing. Maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know.
we don't know what her life is like when she's not there, so. <laughs> I also just realized we, uh, it was a month, right? Although they're saying just the other day. Although, did she say next month? Which could technically mean it could have been like the 30th or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh shit, does that flower mean something? Oh no. Oh no. So they just... <laughs> Fushi talk he wasn't there for that potato thing. Is she gonna make the connection? Like, I guess I don't understand. She only got, like, a little scratch, right? Did his mask come off? Okay, no, never mind. <laughs> that guy. Hmm. I just, I don't understand the whole, like, they, they made such a big deal over the flower. I figured it wouldn't be anyone we knew, but... Goo goo, why you no make move? She literally told you to. Uh, I mean, it's obviously. He has no self-confidence, right, because of the way his face is, but she, like, straight up, I mean, that was basically a confession, but I guess maybe he just didn't see it that way, or maybe he doesn't think that he deserves to be with her, you know, I don't know. Is he finally going to say it, maybe? 
She found out so much this episode. Although the way they treated that injury, they made it seem like it was the end of the world, so... Is she realizing? Yeah, she's gonna realize it now. Is she? Is she? I don't know, the way she was shaken. Uh, yep. Come on, she's got to realize. <clears throat> yeah, man. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. This flower specifically. Dream bell flowers. All right. <gasps> Whoa, shit! What the hell? How? How? Oh, it's the knockers? Shit. God damn it, they're gonna end the episode again. Fuck! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. That's it, guys. There's not even a preview this time. I was, like, getting ready to pause because I thought it was a preview and it just ended. That is it for episode 11. Damn! Shit! He better be... There was water down there, right? He's, he's gonna be okay. There was water down there. Unless the knockers kill him on his way down. Right behind him. It, ke it keeps panning up at the sky. Am I thinking about... No, there is. There's water. I, I guess we don't know what's directly below. It might not be water directly below. Ah, he better be okay. Convenient that he just got this new mask at the perfect time to have these knockers show up. We didn't even get to see them either. That shit just happened, and he saved her again, pushed her back while he was falling. Damn. Okay. Episode 11, guys. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I've never understood. Like, I guess she's... She was a young girl, right? Um, and... Girls value their appearance, I'd say maybe, like, more than guys. Not to be, like, sexist or anything like that, but, like, like, I don't know. I guess maybe a small cut like that on her arm, because, like, I didn't understand it when she made a big deal of it, when, like, she was comparing her little cut to, like, Gugu's fucked up face, you know? I never understood that then, when when she made a big deal out of it in that episode, I thought she was being really inconsiderate. Like, yes, it's fine for her to be self-conscious about the cut and worried about it scarring, maybe, or, or something like that. But when someone's comparing, they're like, granted, she hadn't seen his face, 
But when he's saying, my face is so bad that I can't show it, and she's like, yeah, well, look at this. I, I have this cut, you know? I understand, you know? I, I never understood that in that episode. Granted, like I said, I know they're young, and I know that she probably values, like, her appearance and, and wants to have, like, flawless skin and stuff like that, you know? Or, or maybe there's something more to it that I don't understand, you know? Maybe I'm naive. Maybe I'm the stupid one. It's very much possible. There could be an aspect of the story that I'm just not realizing. Um, but, yeah, so I didn't get that back then. Uh... So, the fact that they brought it up again just baffled me. Like, they're like, oh, that's the flowers you were picking when you got injured. Like, oh, that's a that's a bad omen. Like, well, let, let me throw away that flower for you. It must bring back bad memories. Like, I don't know. I can't imagine getting a cut like that and being so against stuff like that. Granted... Granted, she didn't really make that big of a deal about it, like, she kind of had, like, a quick reaction, maybe, but, like, I think she was more wondering, like, how she, like, only saw those once and why Gugu picked that one, specifically, you know? I think it was more confusion, but then everyone else made a big deal out of it, for whatever reason, you know? Uh, and I guess they are overprotective, they made a note to, like, say that they're overprotective, so I guess they got worried about that kind of thing, you know? But, yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. But, uh... But, yeah, so... Hmm. <laughs> what else did I want to say regarding that? There was something else I wanted to say. Shoot. Crap. I just completely lost it, so I guess we're just gonna move on for now. Um... But yeah, I kind of had a feeling that she was gonna, like, as soon as I realized that she's learning about, like, that he was the boy back with the dog and stuff like that, and when she put that connect connection together, I kind of forgot that she knew about that, and then when that flower happened to be the one back at that incident, incident I started thinking, oh, maybe she's gonna find out all of it this episode, and she did, and I really hope he doesn't die after she found everything out. That would suck. I really hope that doesn't happen, um, but... Or I hope she doesn't die after, you know, he just kind of, not really confessed, but, yeah. Um, but, hmm. I'm glad he finally told her, though. So basically, the reason why he didn't tell her before was because she made a big deal about that cut. So he didn't want to be the one to say, I gave you that, that cut, you know. Um, but I mean... I guess it's possible that she wouldn't have believed him about the log, and she would have blamed him when she was younger and maybe more naive, but the way it pre was presented to her here and how she knows Gugu's like a good person, he she would have known that, you know, he wouldn't have pushed me for without a good reason, and it was because this log was rolling downhill, you know, and, uh, and, and stuff like that. I still don't understand how she didn't hear him. Like, he was running down the hill yelling, Hey, watch out! Hey! Hey! Like, super loud. Like, I mean, I guess she did say it was windy and it was by the water. Maybe, like, the water lapping against the rocks and the wind blowing. Maybe it was louder out there than, than the episode led me to believe, you know? But I still don't understand how she didn't hear him back then. But it happened that way, and that's that's how it is. But, but yeah, I still very much enjoyed this episode. Um... There was something towards the beginning that I wanted to talk a little bit about. And I told myself that I was going to wait until the discussion to talk more about it. And then I promptly forgot. <laughs> um, shoot, what what was it? Um, I guess I could probably skip towards the beginning. Uh, they were They were making their... Oh, I guess we could talk about... Here, we could talk about the reason we found out why Fushi is aging, and it's because he hasn't transformed since that day back then, four years ago. So for four years, he hasn't transformed at all, and because of that, he aged normally. That's interesting. I, I like that explanation, and for some reason, I didn't even think about that. Like, I don't know why that didn't even cross my mind, but that's cool. I, I appreciate that answer, because it, it makes perfect sense. He's... 
he wants to live as a person, you know, how he wanted to, like, learn how to cook and everything uh, around that time and, and all that. So he, he wanted to learn how to be a human and live like Goo Goo and everyone else does, you know, because he just, he wants to be normal. He wants to fit in, you know. Now that he's starting to understand, he's also starting to understand that he doesn't fit in at all and he doesn't look normal at all. So, yeah, I appreciate that. Sorry, I keep looking over here. Not because I'm trying to, like, look away from the camera. I'm just trying to... I'm worried about, like, that, that glitch happening. I have yet to notice it with this new setting, with the CPU recording, um, rather than my graphics card. And I, I have a good graphics card, so I'm kind of surprised that that's the problem, if it is. Um, it's possible that during the episode, I just didn't notice it happening because I was so fixated on the show. Sometimes I can see it in my peripheral vision, sometimes I can't. So I wonder if that has anything to do with it, or if maybe... Like, I also changed the bitrate to the minimum. So before, like, the the minimum bitrate for 30 FPS recording, which is what I'm recording in, uh, for 10, for 1920 by 1080 is, uh, is 8,000, roughly. And I was recording at, like, 20,000 just because I, like, I think at 60 FPS, which I was doing before, it's, like, 16,000, and then I overcompensated and went to 20. And I was thinking maybe for some reason if you go too high on bitrate, it's a bad thing. So, I don't know. I was just trying everything. So, I tried the CPU recording, and I tried lowering the bitrate. And so far, I haven't seen that glitch happen. So, pray that that's it so i really want to fix that glitch even though it's like very minor and not a big deal um it's still something so i keep glancing over every now and then just to kind of like keep that in my peripheral and like be able to see it or whatever and and, and maybe notice the glitch happening but anyway back to the episode sorry tangent um the whatchamacallit it yeah, the fact that, that Fushi has aged because he hasn't transformed was, was cool and he just wanted to be human. Neat. I really like that. I really like that. So, uh, and the knockers didn't attack at all that whole time. So, um, oh yeah, something I was thinking about, and I don't even think I said it during the episode. So, uh, the interesting thing is, is this alien being narrator guy was saying that there is, there is no point... To, like, st he doesn't feel like it's worth it. There's not enough stimulation staying in one spot and living as a human. And stuff like that. Do you think this story is teaching, like... Maybe maybe not the whole story, right? But do you think that part of the story is going to be teaching um, this alien guy that there's more to human life than he realizes... Like, maybe he's never really studied humans enough to, like, enough to really comprehend what they, what they go through and what, what it's like, like, being a human and living this, like, limited lifespan and, and stuff like that. And I wonder if the story is going to be about kind of teaching him, because having the narrator here, like, bashing Fushi's decision, saying, like, humans are boring, you know, it's a, it's a repetitive, you know, struggle of living kind of thing, like, I, I just wonder if we're eventually gonna get to a point where the narrator, or the alien guy, I don't know what to call him, um, is like, is like, I, I kind of see the value of it now, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, maybe we're never gonna come to that point, but I just saw that as like, He's stating all these, like, a matter-of-fact opinions that he has, and it'd be cool to see them change, I guess, eventually. But, um... I don't remember if either of those things that I just talked about were... Uh... Were what I wanted to talk about here, but we'll just keep going through the episode. Um, the brother showing up was, was interesting, um... He's definitely trying to make amends for what he did, you know. He seems like he's doing a little better. Granted, he seemed like a good guy back then when he just straight up ditched his brother. So, who knows what that's like now. Like, what he's like now. He seems like he has his act together. He said he started like a... He, he said he like st started a business or something and he has like a couple people working for him and stuff. So, good for him. Like, he's... He's trying to make something of himself. Gugu didn't give him the chance, but maybe this will just 
get it in Gugu's mind that like, oh, he's doing better. He tried to come and apologize. Maybe I should go talk to him, you know? So we'll see. Maybe. Um, but the, uh, hmm. Other than that, I mean, I, I was really worried about the whole ring thing coming back and being a negative thing because I know that, like, in some shows they'll do that where, like, a character was given something and then they give that something away and it's, like, kind of disrespectful. But, like I said, she gave it to him to sell anyway. So I guess it makes sense that she wouldn't be too mad about him just giving it away, I guess. And, and she doesn't know that, like, he didn't buy it. He said he's, like, returning it. So, anyway, um... I'm just glad it didn't turn into something dra dramatic. I'm glad it turned into something positive where she she realized who Gugu was at that point. So that was cool. Um, I also wonder, in the opening, I'm pretty sure we see Gugu's face, right? As we see them older, time skipped, and we see his face. I wonder if now that he's aged, if his wounds have healed better, because he looks fine in the opening. He doesn't look messed up. Um, so I wonder if maybe he thinks he's ugly, but maybe he, like, hasn't looked at himself in so long or something that he, that he doesn't realize that he looks fine or something, you know? Um, but... But that's kind of meta gaming from the from the opening because I'm fairly certain we see his face. And I always thought before the time skip happened, I kind of had it in the back of my head when I saw that in the opening. I was like, oh, well, he's gonna, he's probably gonna die. Fushi's gonna take his form and have a normal face or something. That's kind of what I thought might happen. Um, and I guess it still could happen. But. Oh, maybe what I was going to talk about more was the old man mentioned, uh, I, I briefly mentioned it in the, in the, in the episode, but, uh, the old man mentioned that maybe you should empty the booze out of your stomach or out of the, the thing so that way you can eat more grub. So my question is, is, is that artificial organ that's inside him a stomach or my other thought was, does it expand when it's full of liquor? And maybe it pushes on his other organs, and like you know how they'll like they'll uh, they'll put a band around your stomach to shrink your stomach for people that are trying to diet and eat less. Um, maybe it's something along those lines where it it'll uh, it'll shrink his or it shrinks his stomach when he's full of liquor, so that means he doesn't eat as much as he normally would. I don't know. Um, interesting. I just. I briefly mentioned that, and I wanted to kind of go into a little bit more of my thought, even though I think I might have reiterated what I said during the episode. Um, but, but yeah, I don't know what else it, it could mean unless the stomach is shared with where the liquor is. But wouldn't that be gross? Wouldn't that mean, like, because obviously the way your stomach works is you have, like, digestive fluids in there, which means whenever he did his thing where he, like, vomits up the liquor and, like, blows it, with a flamethrower, wouldn't he be, like, vomiting up stomach acid? And it also mix with the liquid, uh, or with the liquor, so pumping it out and drinking it would be absolutely disgusting. So I feel like it has to be separate from the stomach, unless his stomach just works differently in this world. Plus, whatever he'd eat would mix with the liquor, too. So I think it's the, the other thing I said, where, like, his stomach gets bigger, and then because of that, it... I mean, uh, the, the thing that holds the liquor gets bigger, I mean. And because of that, it pushes against his stomach and makes it so he doesn't have as much room for food. So, that's that's what I'm going with. That's that's my theory. <laughs> um, but, yeah, the whole ring thing, that was cool. Her figuring all that out. Yeah, man, she, like, straight up confessed to him and he just... Um, like, he, she straight up said, if you're going to make a move on me, you better do it now, or something like that. Like, come on, man. Like, I understand that characters in anime are oblivious, especially when they're children, but he's not really that young anymore. Like, she turned 16 just now, right? Which means he's probably around the same age, maybe a little younger. At least he was, like, smaller than her at the time, like, back when he found her dog for her. 
you know, but I don't know. Maybe they are just the same age. Because uh, boys have their growth spurt later than girls, so that's also possible too, you know. Um, but, but yeah. Uh, I don't know, like, I'm curious to get in Gugu's head. Because, like, at the end there, during the party, it, it seemed like he was saying, like... You know, she's moving on without us, and he seemed really sad about that, and, like, how there's, like, he acted like there was nothing more they could do because she's moving on, and, like, she straight up told him, like, I'm gonna be getting married, so if you want to stop that, you know, I, I don't know, did she say all that to him? What did, what did she say? Let's see, I'm, like, right at the point. Gugu, now, now's your chance to make a move on me. Straight up telling you to make a move on her. I'm gonna be forced to get married soon. She does mention it. That's what I thought. Are you okay with me getting married to someone else? So she's literally, like, in his face saying, saying, fight for me if you want me. You know, do something. Show me that you like me, like, like what you said back then. But he just got all flustered, didn't say anything. And then she also said, what'd she say when she ran away? Let's see. I'm fairly certain she said a month, right? The day you came back, let, let's see let's how, how she words it. It could be a subtitle issue too. Wouldn't be the first time in a show that, that messed me up. Here we go. Uh, she throws the potatoes and then she's gonna run. My birthday party is happening. Okay, so she she did say my birthday's happening next month, and then they said the other day when they were at her party. So that to me means that it's it could potentially mean that whatever month it is, it could be like the twenty eighth, the 29th, the thirtieth, whatever. So she's saying next month, you know, um, and then. They say, like, a few days ago when I threw potatoes at you and, and stuff like that. Or the other day, I think is how they said it. So, who knows? Maybe that could be, like, last week, and then it's been a week, and now it's into the next month kind of thing. Okay, so that makes sense. I wasn't sure if she said, uh, my birthday is happening in a month, or if she said next month, you know? So, that's a that's an important dis distinction. So, anyway. Um... But in all that time, he, he didn't do anything. He didn't make a move. He And then he came to the party. He saw her with the one she's supposed to marry. And he's like, well, nothing I can do about this, you know. Um, but. But, yeah. Hmm. Where is the shot of Gugu and Reen together? Yeah. Yeah, the shot in the opening, he even has the same, like, armor thing on his chest that he wears. So, I, I wonder. I wonder if his face does look fine now, and he, like, somehow doesn't realize it, you know? Anyway. Yeah. I think I covered a lot of the stuff in this episode. Um, I, I really nitpicked through this one. I, I jumped through I really liked this episode, though. It was really good. Um, I wish Gugu was a little more, like, he's getting older now. Granted, he's lived, like, a sheltered life in this place. It's not like he went to school and hung around other kids and was able to learn about love and stuff like that. So I guess it is to say, like, something's to say about that, you know? Because, like, us going to school, and and we really learn a lot about that, hanging out with other kids all the time going to school. But this kid just, like, was really young, lived on his own with his brother. His brother left him, and then he lived with this booze man basically the rest of the time. And his only other, like, kid was Fushi, who just knew nothing. So he had to teach Fushi everything, which may have even stunted his learning a little bit, too. So, um, I can definitely see that being a thing, too. But, but yeah, I, I wish he handled a little bit. I want to see them get together. I, I mean, I feel like they're gonna, maybe. But also, anime really hates having relationships sometimes. Like... Like, there's very few anime that they actually make relationships work and last and stuff like that. So, usually it's like the two characters like each other through the whole show, and then maybe at the very end they get together. 
but usually not even that. So, um, hopefully it does work out and, and stuff like that, but yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you did. Check out my Patreon if you want to get access to early access for some of my other shows. Obviously, I watch this as it releases, so um, early access isn't available for this. Uh, and then I have Patreon-exclusive content as well, where I'm watching Jujutsu Kaisen, Black Sails, and Reincarnated as a Slime, Season 2. So check that stuff out if you, if you want access to, to all of that. Um, the link is in the description, or it should be popping up on the screen, or you go to patreon.com slash morthodon. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.